What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another daily dose of E36. So there's a lot of things going on with the E36. I wanted to do visual, but I can't because there's a lot of things that uh, one of the things why I don't like buying other people's swaps or what do you call those projects. Take a look at the fog lights, the way whoever had this car and whoever installed them, what they used, they used wires, they used uh, rivets or the, uh, not the rivets, uh, screws, self-tapping screws and all kind of weird stuff. Same thing with the radiator, I think I showed in the previous video. Uh, one of the things that you have to do on the car, and here's the thing, don't get me wrong. Not trying to say anything bad about anybody, but before you buy a car, you have to think about, hey, how much is this car cost? And not only how much it costs, but how much is it gonna be to do maintenance on it? Um, do you mind? I used to work at the dealership and there's there's nothing wrong with the pens oil not saying it's a bad oil or anything like that but we had cars come in with the BMWs Lexus Mercedes and put in just a regular pens oil oil in it you can't do that you have to use proper oil proper parts and the fluid again I think I showed this video but if not in the previous video if not then take a look at the uh the thermostat housing what it looked like in this car and this is because they just used regular water you can't do that you have to do oil changes on time why this is what you're gonna have if you don't do oil changes on time so i think this is called ccv or something crankcase valve and what it does um the bottom part it goes into your oil dipstick um tube so it drains your oil and when i took it off i didn't do a video on it but this thing was clogged up like completely there was oil inside there's a weird stuff inside and i was trying to clean it i was blowing air in it i put wire inside and I know some of you laughing at me, but hear me out, I didn't know it. Um, some of you probably looking at me, it's like, what's so funny? Well, here's the funny part. This tube doesn't go straight into this hole. You see it has like a double-sided wall type of thing? Well, this here is clogged up. This is gunk, it's old oil. And this tube or this hole, when you blow in it, this is where it's supposed to come out. Not in the middle, the sides. <laughs> I didn't know it either. So, um, this one, I opened the top part. It had this. You can see how much gunk it has. But the bottom, I cannot open, even though it has like a little thingies right here. But I know it's one of the things that you can just just go buy a new one replace it but i'm not gonna be me if i don't just try to open it even if i break it i want to see what's going on inside and i want to show you guys how much crap it has and not only inside that but inside the valve cover because i'm going to be doing valve cover gasket on this and you probably can't see it but we'll see if it's going to be in this video or not but i'll show you how much gunk it has build up on that thing it's just horrible it's, it's bad i mean do oil changes do proper oil changes not only just so oh, i just did oil change fluids and all kind of maintenance that you have to do especially with the brakes too a lot of people do brakes and then they get a bunch of dust on it and it's like oh i have brand new brakes why well you buy 
cheap brakes, that's what's gonna happen. And not only it's gonna have a dust, but it's gonna mess up your rims because the paint, it's gonna start eating the paint from that dust. So, enough of all that BS. Um, I paint the floor uh, on this car, these sides and that side. I didn't do the front one because I have to push the car out, but it wasn't rusted. It had like a kind of like a service rust, but the corners, it kind of looks bad, but this is a sealer that I put it on and then I painted uh, a little more rust in the corners, but nothing major. So the front ones uh, for the driver's side is kind of bad, but I haven't gotten to it. I'll do it later. There's a lot of things that I have to buy. Suspensions are done. Shocks are leaking. Tires are bold. Uh, rims are bad or oh, they're, they're not bad, but they're just old. I want to replace them There's a lot of parts that I still need. I need carpet uh, I was thinking that I'm gonna reuse the old carpet, but it's ripped So I'll just throw it away and get a new one new use I guess there's like I said There's a bunch of things that I want to get for this car and do maintenance So make sure it runs it drives the way it's supposed to I got uh, rock and pinion. I'll be replacing that it's again new use but this is old car it's gonna be hard to get some of the parts new and if you do get them they're probably gonna be expensive i don't know i i was hoping i'll be driving this winter with this car but mm. if you guys seen my previous video we did uh dialed in the uh, 135 we changed the fuel system that we had set up back in america and went with the 98 here in georgia uh, they have a hundred octane, but I think it's just there's no why use hundred when you can just get ninety eight and be happy with it. But I can't. I don't know how much horsepower it makes because we didn't do actual dyno. We did just a street tune, which is kind of good. Uh, I wanted to do street tune versus online when they do it, but I mean, the first tune we did, I did online. So, but if I get a chance. I'm gonna do dyno, but the guy that did the tune, I trust him more because I know he does a lot of different cars. He has a YouTube channel. I've seen how he does and what he does. So I wanna get it done by him, but he's like six hours from me one way. So maybe one day, someday we'll do that. Uh, but for now, I'm really happy how he drives. Clutch handles like a champ, even though I had kind of big doubts. Uh, if it's gonna handle it or not uh, fuel system is good. No misfires. No nothing. So I'm happy with it Every gear pulls like hard like crazy versus before it wouldn't So enough of that. Let's get work. Let's get this tube cleaned up. I want to again I will now open it, see what it looks like inside And start putting it together. I took the rock opinion out already. So oh, that's why I got this crazy alignment done so let's get to work. Well, I guess I was wrong. So I took this thing out. But another thing is inside. So I want to see what's inside, but you can't, you have to break it. Not that I care about it, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Should I break this for the next video or not? I never thought I'm gonna own a car with this much rust on it. Or in it. On it, in it, in it, on it. Uh, so this is how they fix rust issues here. Um, so there's a hole there. I don't know how small, how big, but they put a bundle over it. On top and the bottom, paint it and just left it. So this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna uh, weld this spot just yet. I have different uh, plans for this, that particular spot, uh, or for this quarter, or actually for both quarters and the fenders and the back doors and the whole car. But you'll find out guys uh, in like future videos. Oh, something got stuck in my eye. So for now I'm gonna do patch as in uh, sandwich patch. I call it sandwich patch. I came up with this. So, uh, should I show them? 
No. But it, like I said, it's temporarily. I'm not gonna leave it like that forever, but hopefully it's not gonna turn into one of those temporarily that's gonna be forever there. I'm not planning on selling this car, but who knows? I mean, if, if I find something better deal, something that, you know, and then sell it, then yeah, that means it's gonna stay like that. But like I said, I have different plans, but for now I don't have time or anything to start welding and stuff because I'm gonna redo the quarters and everything. So what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna fix it is I have sheet metal and I have seam sealer. This is actually like a like a hardcore seam sealer for the car. So uh, cut out the piece, put the seam sealer, put it from the bottom, and then do same thing from the top and make it a sandwich. Uh, obviously, it's not gonna fix the problem, but it's gonna fix or it's gonna stop the car from rusting and give me enough time for it to like to get to it later because uh, my like first priority right now is finish up the car make sure it runs and drives and then we're gonna do the visual which is gonna include this redoing this so don't be hating on it um, I'll be honest I don't like doing this but for now I have to because that's a lot of work because if I I don't know guys how good you guys can see it, but this old bundle and I don't know how good or how far Oh the oh boy, I see it. Like how much bundle he has because you can see from here This is how big of a hole it is And like this side right here It was in an accident Because you can't see it's been fixed right here uh, so I don't know like how much bundle he has from outside how much bundle he has on the bottom because if I start cleaning if the top starts to tear and Getting all messed up. So anyways long story short. This is what I'm gonna do for now This is what I decided. So it is what it is for now End of story. End of story. Bye. Bye See you later. So some of you might want to sit down for this or skip it if you can't Watch stuff like this. Snip, snip, snap, snap. Man, I honestly don't know how I'm gonna fix this. That's a lot, like it's not just the bottom. So it comes from the top right here, like this corner. Comes down here, then to here. And it's weird, cause who knows when they did this, it's still gooey. Like it's not dry. It's sticky, not just gooey. And plus, like I said, I don't know how... Tape. tape. <laughs> Paper tape, yeah. See, or painter's tape, whatever they call it. So I don't know how far it goes. So I don't wanna keep on digging through it. And take half of your... Yeah, cause I'll get to this quarter later. I'll open up one little secret. I'm gonna be cutting it like this. Later. Some of you are not gonna like it, but some of you might die, but this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. No, see, it keeps going. Well, don't touch it. No, I need to like, clean it because the seam seal is not gonna stick to, it. stick to it. I mean, obviously for this job, it's better to take the wheel off, but we're not gonna do that because we're professionals. Just the wheels in a way, and there's some more tape inside. I don't know how to stop this. I don't want to take the wheel off, but I have to. I have to take the wheel off. Many unbearable hours later. What? Are we rolling? <laughs> yes. Camera rolling. Yes. What's up, you guys? I'm gonna finish up the video on this. I got sick again. <laughs> Surprise. So finished up the quarter panel, the, the corner. Like I said, it's all temporarily, so don't be hating on it. Um, the reason why I rusted, I just remembered uh, when the water was going inside the, the car through the uh, sunroof, it was actually going through one of these um, roof rack mounts as well so I took them off I put the seam sealer all the way around on all of them and 
I remember when it rained, the water was going through inside here in that area. And I think that's why it rusted. I don't think this car was an accident or anything like that. And it didn't rust it from outside. It started from inside. So I fixed that. But uh, like I already said, I'm missing a bunch of parts. But I already talked to the guy. He uh, he has this like a junkyard, pick and pull, whatever you want to call it, back at home at his like house. Uh, which kind of makes you want to go to pick and pull. I miss pick and pulls. So I'll be going to uh, his place sometimes this week if it doesn't rain. If it does, then whatever. But it's all going to be in the next video. Hopefully, I'm going to fix all the little things and we can start doing the visual because I'm dying to start doing that because it's all boring stuff doing all the little th things on this, especially the rust part. Never done rust repairs because I never had car with the rust, but there's always first time for everything. So. Uh, hopefully this video wasn't boring. If it was, sorry. <laughs> I'll try to do uh, more fun and interesting videos when we start doing visuals, body kits and stuff like that. I already said body, body kits. No, no body kits. We're not, we're not doing body kits. Just cut that out. Just, that's it. This is it. So again, uh, thanks for watching. If you like it, hit thumbs up. If you didn't, still hit thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe, comment, share, whatever, everything. So see you next time.